Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to compare two different types of Garmin traffic cables which is to receive traffic conditions in your GPS while you're driving to avoid accidents, backups and roadblocks etc. So uh, in this video uh, I'm comparing Garmin uh, HD high definition traffic receiver which is Garmin uh, 60 HD uh, GTM 60HD and versus a normal Garmin traffic receiver such as uh, GTM 25, 26, 35, etc. or uh, GPSs that have internal traffic receivers and all you need uh, is a traffic antenna for those uh, in order to be able to uh, receive traffic information. So if you look here um, in this setup right here I have a Garmin Nuvi uh, 2597 and this uh, Garmin Nuvi 2597 I've got the regular TA10 traffic antenna because this has it has a tra traffic receiver internally so it doesn't need a traffic receiver compared to a Garmin uh, Nuvi Let's see which model this is. This is Gar Garmin Nuvi 2555LM. And uh, this unit is connected to a Garmin uh, GTM 60 HD, high definition traffic receiver. This is connected to this. This is connected to TA10. Let's see which one gives us more accurate traffic information and let's see if it's really worth spending the extra money to get high definition uh, traffic. So in this one uh, you see the traffic information with the little green uh, picture of a vehicle. You click on that picture of a vehicle and it tells you that there is a two minute delay in Euclid Avenue. Well, I'm in Spring Valley, California so that's basically the only event happening in nearby areas with a high definition. Now let's go and see what does the regular traffic condition receiver tells us. Traffic. No traffic reported at all. So basically the regular traffic condition receiver does not see that two minute delay. However, that's not the only thing you need to take in consideration. Basically this is not a fair test. You have to click on this to see what's going on. Now when you see the map, uh, there is nothing in the map, no events. There is one event right here that shows a vehicle as uh, there's an accident, which is a, an upside down vehicle. Let's see here. Okay, so traffic in the area. traffic conditions all right so let's zoom out okay so as far as I can see they're both accurately uh, representing there's a exclamation mark which is a trouble area there's an exclamation mark here which is also a troubled area this one is a ve is an accident with an upside down vehicle so was here there's an accident now if we go down this way there is an exclamation mark on the 52 freeway and so is on the cheap one an exclamation mark so let's see if there's a difference if we click and see what's going on so if I click on this upside down vehicle it should tell me what the story is so there it says an accident that's all it says so on this one I'll click and that's all it says it's an accident let's click on the exclamation mark and see exclamation mark and see what's up it says object on road so there's probably a mattress or something you know an object on road so let's click on this one object on road no more details or anything so basically so far they're all the same now let's go to the 52 freeway and see what kind of information we get object on road object on road okay fine now I see a root road closure sign on this one but I don't see it on this one 
So this is the high definition one. This should have more information. Let me zoom in. Still no information about low clo road closure. So let me zoom in on this one and see what's up with that road closure. Road is closed. So there is a road that's closed and it shows up on the cheaper version Garmin traffic receiver. So this road is closed in San Diego downtown. Let me see if I zoom in, maybe I will see that road closure on the high definition as well. Unfortunately, the high definition does not give me any info about the road closure. Oh, there you go. Oh no, this is the low definition. So that, that one, uh, we already know that it gives us the road closure info. So now we are getting really zoomed in. And we have a road closure here. No signs of road closure on the high definition unit. So there you go. This is a cheap version. This is the high definition unit. And I happen to get much more information from the high definition unit than I do from the regular unit. Now here's the thing. This is not like a final result to say that the uh, high definition is worse than the low definition. Because the high definition updates itself a lot faster than the low definition like this unit will update itself in seconds where this one will update in minutes <laughs> so if this load road closure has been reopened and it's no longer a closure you will be notified with this one a lot faster than you would on this one so now this means either this load road closure has ended and the road has been reopened to traffic or this unit doesn't report road closures accurately so these are one or one or the other is the reason so yeah that's what that was uh, the comparison of high definition and low definition traffic cables and uh, basically yeah see now i have zoomed out to the entire region this still shows the road closure and this doesn't yeah so so I believe uh, the, the conclusion from this test is uh, that the low definition, which is way cheaper than the high definition, is only good because of its uh, uh, information accuracy. But as far as the high definition is uh, concerned, it's good for the information update time. For example, the most up-to-date is from the high definition unit receivers for example let's say if there is an accident and the tow trucks comes uh, the highway patrol comes and everything and the road is cleared you will be notified of this clearance or uh, res resolution of the problem you will be notified of it with a high definition a lot faster than you would be notified with a low definition so basically if you have the cheaper type of cable, you would be exiting from the freeway thinking that, oh, there's, the road is blocked, when the high definition cable already knows that the, the, the blockage has been taken care of and the traffic is a smooth flow. On the other hand, uh, the high definition will inform you of an accident a lot faster than the low definition. For example, if there is an accident, uh, the high definition unit will immediately, within seconds, inform you that there is, a, there is an accident where the Low definition will take minutes, and sometimes by the time you get the notification of an accident, you've already approached the point of the accident. So basically, you're already stuck in the traffic because you were informed about that accident too late. So having that said, I still recommend the high definition, but nonetheless, the low definition's information is just as accurate, and it shouldn't be taken for, gr for granted. Now, you do realize that the newer garments also sync with your smartphone to get you traffic information through uh, uh, Garmin's uh, Smart Link app. So you put a Smart Link app in your phone and you link this, uh, the Smart Link to your uh, Garmin 
and it gives you you know all types of information weather traffic anything that's affecting your driving or, or your uh, time of arrival to your destination it will give you updates on that I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.